In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the Generark Home Power 2. Now this has to be one of the coolest looking designs I've ever seen for a power station. You can use it to run your computers, major appliances, and you can even charge it via solar. But despite all this, it's not a perfect device for everyone. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at what makes it unique and if this might be something you wanna consider for yourself. Everything about the Genarch is designed to be user friendly, including the size. It's only 10 inches by 10 inches and just over 25 inches tall. Another cool feature is how you can move this thing around. They include this magnetic base. You just lift the unit up and it kind of snaps into the bottom. Now they can just slide it anywhere in the house they want or tuck it in a closet when it's not in use. But if you do need to lift it, they've put a handle right in the center so it's pretty easy to balance and the handle is even cushioned. They've also got this kind of night light in the base of the unit. Now you can turn it off or on, but the light's not just for looks. It can actually change color to indicate what the battery percentage is. So if you're looking at it from across the room and you see it turning yellow or red, you know your battery is starting to get low. And this is one of the fastest charging units on the market and it plugs right into the wall without any kind of AC adapter. And because it can handle a thousand watts of input, it can charge from zero to 100% in two and a half hours. The Generac's got all the outlets and plugs you need for anything you're gonna do at home. This unit really isn't designed for mobile use and it's not something you'd say build into an RV. You've got a cigarette outlet, two USB-C ports that are rated for 100 watts each, and two quick charging USB ports. All battery generators need fans to stay cool. Now the Generac's are very quiet and I like that it pulls the air in the bottom and out the top. The Generac comes in a standard version and a plus. Now the one they sent me for review is the plus, meaning it can handle up to 800 watts of solar input. And to test this, they included four 200 watt panels that they're also selling. And keep in mind the theme of this product is it's designed to be easy for somebody that's not a power expert. So everything just plugs in, you can't connect it wrong. And because the panels have these built-in stands, they're really quick and easy to set up. And in less than five minutes, I now have 800 watts of potential input just waiting to connect into the Generarc. There are only two solar input ports on the home power unit itself. So the way you connect in four solar panels is you take two of them and plug them into this splitter box. You're actually combining two panels into one, and now you can connect each one of these splitters into one of the ports on the Generarc. And even on asphalt, you can see that those small wheels do a really good job of moving this thing around. This protective door is even magnetic. Now this is a nice upgrade considering most companies will just give you a rubber flap to protect these ports. Even though it looks bright on camera, unfortunately the sun was starting to go down, so I needed to move the panels. With everything connected up, I was getting between about 150 and 180 watts of input. Now that might not look like a lot, but it really is too late in the day to get much more. And all these solar panels are weather resistant, and you can leave them out in the rain. But in real use, if you had a disaster, you could keep this inside the house, use an extension cord, and then run all the solar panels outside, and keep this thing charged while you're using power inside the house. In here I'm going to test out that theory and I've connected up a 1200 watt electric heater while the solar panels are still connected. And you can see on the left I'm getting about 30 watts of input while I'm drawing 1200 watts of power. This is really simple to set up and break down. In fact you can connect or disconnect all of the panels, put everything away in just about 5 minutes. Air conditioners can be really tough to run on any type of battery generator because they've got a huge startup load. Now each of those four AC outlets is rated for 20 amps and it should have no problems being able to run an air conditioner like this. Now when an AC first turns on, it's often gonna just have the fan. That's why you can see it's only using around 50 watts of power and that is nowhere near what one of these can use. So once I lower the temperature, the compressor finally kicks in and that's where you get the big draw and it's using about 413 watts. The battery's at 78% and it's computing that I can run the air conditioner for about 3.1 hours. Now that might not sound like a long time, but you need to remember air conditioners turn on and off. So in reality, I'll probably be able to run that for about six to seven hours. And that's assuming that I don't have the solar panels connected, which could keep it charged while I'm using that power. I also connected up to my power analyzer to make sure this was putting out pure sine wave power. And I passed this test and all of my voltage tests as well. Overall, I love this product. I like the design. It puts out a lot of power and it is super easy to use. Many people forget that there are a lot of folks out there that don't understand these. They just want to plug something in and have backup power when they need it. So that's exactly who this is perfect for. What I didn't like about the unit is it's really not designed for a mobile user. You're not going to bring this in the car or carry it around. You can only get this product by buying it through Kickstarter, which means you have to put up some money early for a pretty substantial discount and then you have to wait to get the product delivered. And only you can make that decision if that's right for you, or you could wait to see if this gets released on Amazon in the future. 
And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.